We have reports that the Toronto Maple Leafs may be eyeing a blockbuster trade for the upcoming deadline, as well as the Elias Pettersson extension is imminent, and I'll break it all down for you coming up on this episode of Hattrick HQ. Before we get into it, just want to say if you're one of the thousands of people watching this that aren't subscribed, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road for 3,000 subscribers here on the channel. We're getting pretty close, just over 100 to hitting our goal now. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to go down below, get us uh, one more subscriber closer to hitting our goal. But with that said, let's go right into the first topic of the video today, which is Pedersen extension coming. And uh, as we take a look here, uh, this is from the NHL News on Twitter. They said, according to multiple sources, the Canucks and Hurricanes had discussions about Elias Pedersen that advanced to a stage where both he and Vancouver needed to make a serious decisions about where the relationship was headed. Uh, Vancouver ultimately decided in favor of another attempt at extending him, and he allowed his agents to resume talks. Uh, no extension is complete at this time, but there is certainly momentum in that direction. And this is really interesting because, I mean, this is one of the top stars in the NHL in Elias. Pedersen potentially could have been traded to Carolina here and David Pagnota uh, said he believed the names such as Martin Nikash and Jesper, uh, Jesper Kataniemi were discussed for Carol on Carolina's end for this trade obviously there have been multiple first round picks thrown in here as well and they said the first occurred over a week ago prior to my initial uh, contract offer report last week and um, also uh, here, this is from Frank Ciravelli on the Daily Faceoff. He tweeted uh, that sources say Canucks have made significant progress with superstar Elias Pedersen working on what is believed to be an eight-year contract extension. Not done, but big development, and a new deal could be finalized in the coming days. It was also noted that he said uh, on the DFO Rundown podcast, I'm told Pedersen went to the Canucks earlier this week and said, let's end all this nonsense. Let's get a deal done. I want to stay in Vancouver, which is great to hear out of your star player here. And obviously, like I said, Elias Pettersson is a big name in the NHL. One of the biggest stars this season uh, has really put on a masterclass performance in 61 games now with 75 points, 29 goals, 46 assists. I mean, this guy has been uh, providing so much offense for this Vancouver's uh, Canucks team. Been a really big key to their early success here. And as we take a look just at his current contract, he is an RFA after this year. Obviously, this is why we're looking at the extension. Uh, but right now, on a $7.35 million AAV contract. But I really do expect to see that uh, go uh, really high here uh, in the numbers. I think we reported last week that... Uh, they're looking around the $12 million, $12.5 million range, uh, 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 average annual value uh, for uh, Elias Pettersson. And it's just seen here from Frank Cervelli that uh, it's looking like an eight-year extension, so this will probably be 12, uh, maybe even 11.5 over eight years. I'm, I'm thinking the number is going to be over 12. I mean, the, the year that and performance that this guy is putting on this season is phenomenal, has improved drastically from season to season, which is really crazy to say when he hit 105 points last year looking like he's probably going to hit you know maybe into the 120s this season uh, and I just think this is great for Elias Pettersson great for the Vancouver Canucks they get their guy back they get their golden boy back here in Elias Pettersson uh, keep him for these next eight years when they're probably going to be really strong contenders because right now this season they're looking really good out there and looking like they could make a really strong uh case for them being Stanley Cup favorites going into the playoffs this year and I, I'm just a really big fan of this guy I think he's uh, deserves all the stuff that's coming his way and he's just such a great hockey player great player off the ice as well and uh, this is great for Vancouver I know Canucks fans love this guy and having this guy for eight more years would be huge and I really do expect this deal to come very soon uh, I'm expect I'm expecting it to, to go down honestly over, over this weekend before the trade deadline happens here uh, so that they know kind of what kind of cap situation they have going into next season and what they can make a move for at the deadline here and I, I'm just really excited for this Vancouver Canucks team I've 
said it multiple times here on the channel. They're a fun team to watch. They're my favorites going into the Stanley Cup this season. And uh, I'm just really excited for this team. Really excited for its fans that they're getting their guy here. And, and I think this deal will come will come soon. The crazy thing here is that they, they almost uh, had a trade on the table for this guy here. But, uh, I mean, deep down, everyone knew that he's a Vancouver Canuck. He bleeds blue and green. Uh, I mean, this guy is a Vancouver Canuck for life. And I think this extension will come very soon. I'm really excited for this Vancouver Canucks team, for this fan base, a fan base that really deserves, a, a, you know, a Stanley Cup here. And we're rooting for you. Bring it home to Canada here, Vancouver Canucks. Uh, we, we'd love to see that. But we're going to get into the next topic of the video today, which is the Leafs eyeing a blockbuster deal. And as we take a look here, uh, this is from Elliot Freeman. Uh, he said, a couple of teams had looked into acquiring Philadelphia Flyers defenseman Nick Sealer and Sean Walker back in December. Leafs GM Brad Chalivin reportedly attempted to acquire Tanev and Nikita Zadorov from the Flames before Zadorov was traded to Van Vancouver. So, I mean, perhaps he's attempting to do the same thing with Nick Sealer and Sean Walker. I mean, that. I mean, just looking at that right now, uh, in my eyes, I think that is a phenomenal trade for Brad, Tra Brad Chalivin and the Toronto Maple Leafs. I think both these guys guys could really solidify this decor going in uh, to the playoffs here and I think if you're going to throw your first round pick at anything here at the deadline I think throwing it to get both of these defenders into Toronto is the right way to go about it here I think both these guys are great defensemen and I mean we could it would be a big trade obviously this is going to be a big haul uh, I mean first round pick maybe you know a B, a B tier prospect going the other way maybe some lower round picks as well involved in this and I really want to see this trade happen I know a lot of you guys uh, down in the comments section and, and viewers of the video I always want to see defensemen trade to Toronto uh, that's what you've been talking about and I think this is what the perfect trade for them is obviously I've seen Mario, Mario Ferraro's name bounced around a little bit down there too but Sean Walker and uh, Nick Sealer here are great defense uh, and I'm just going to bring up their stats here. This is uh, Nick Sealer. This guy's more of a stay-at-home defensive type defenseman, as we see here in 60 games. Has 11 points, can get on the stat sheet as well. But the big thing to look at here is the 175 blocks, 107 hits. I mean, this guy's showing, uh, you know, to be one of the most prominent block shot, uh, uh, shot blockers in the NHL this season. And uh, at his at a phenomenal cap hit here at 775k AAV. Obviously, you would have to extend this guy uh, next season, but I think you could get him back at a fairly cheap deal, maybe around the $2 million range, uh, if I had to put an estimate on it right now. Uh, but we're going to look at Sean Walker here. Uh, this is, you know, more of a two-way type of defenseman here. Uh, 22 points, right-handed shot. See a 60 games played this year. Like I said, 22 points, 16 assists. Uh, and he is also, like I said, a two-way type of guy. He can block the shots, throw the body out there. Uh, I mean, this is just a great trade for the Toronto Maple Leafs, in my opinion. This could really, you know, bolster their uh, decor going into the playoffs here. And his contract, a little bit more expensive on the last year of his deal as well at 2.65 million AAV. But I think it, with the the way that the Toronto Maple Leafs are kind of cap strapped right now, I think this may be the best option for them. You're getting a guy in here at under uh, 800k in Nick Sealer, and then you're getting a 2.65. So I, I mean, mental math here, you're about three million and a chunk of change uh, bringing both of these guys in. I think this could be. Uh, really easy cap for Bradsh Living and the Leafs to uh, figure this out. I think bringing both of these guys in that $3 million is a steal. They're obviously great defenders here. They're going to lock it down. Nick Sealer is the type of defenseman who is going to be great on the penalty kill. He's going to be locking it in in his own zone, putting it all on the line for you every night, throwing his body in front of pucks, like crushing guys into the boards and stuff like this. He's more of a stay-at-home, hard-nosed, left-handed shot defenseman uh, that's just going to go to battle for a team every night and getting that at such a cheap cap hit is would be phenomenal for this trial Maple Leafs team and on the other end uh, is Sean Walker this guy more of a two-way uh, type of player also can play great on the penalty kill as well but he gets on the stat sheet a little bit more often than Sealer uh, great passer great skater he's also isn't afraid to, to throw a puck on net every now and then for a tip and I think 
bringing both of these guys in here is the best option, like I've said multiple times here in this video. I think you could even try Sean Walker out with Morgan Riley up here on this first pairing, see how it goes, uh, and I think this could be a phenomenal uh, defensive pairing for the Leafs. I think you move TJ Brody, Brody back to the left side. We've seen him play there a couple um, a couple of times this season and has looked phenomenal uh, in that spot. Uh, you pull him on that second line, maybe uh, left hand, left the second pairing left hand side. Uh, maybe put um, Sealer down on that third pairing, and I really do think you'd have a great set of defensive pairings here going in to the playoffs and going into the latter half of the season. And I think this trade could really. Uh, put the Maple Leafs over the hump right now. I mean, I mean, they're playing phenomenal right now. Great hockey coming out of these uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. And maybe just adding these two little pieces could make propel them, you know, into the stratosphere here. And uh, I'd just really be excited to see this happen. We've also seen reports saying, you know, the Leafs are playing good. The UFAs that they've signed the two one-year deals, our UFAs after the season, have started to play, pick it up and play really good. I mean, Tyler Bertuzzi is on a tear right now. Max Domi has been playing phenomenal as well. So maybe they want to ride out with the team they have. I could see that happen as well. But I think if they have a shot here at going after uh, Walker and Sealer, and I think you could easily extend these guys uh, next season for a couple more years when the Leafs are com competing. These guys are going to want to stay in the Toronto, their contending team, they're going to want a shot at the Stanley Cup here, and I think this is, is a no-brainer for them to stay if they do get traded here, uh, but it will be interesting to see what Brad Trilliving and the Toronto Maple Leafs do here at the trade deadline. We've seen reports of Matt Dumba, we've seen reports of Mario Ferraro, we've seen reports of Sealer, Walker, there's multiple rumors going around right now, but the one that sticks out to me is this blockbuster two-man trade, you're getting a left-handed shot, a right-handed shot defenseman uh, coming back to Toronto in this deal and if they're looking at uh, if there's a slight chance that they're looking at moving their first round pick at all I think this is the way to do it but I want to hear from you guys down below in the comment section what do you think of this trade for the Toronto Maple Leafs do you love it do you hate it because I personally love it but at the end of the day I believe Bratch Living is going to do what's best for this Toronto Maple Leafs team. We've seen them, uh, you know, bring in guys like Bertuzzi and Domi and has really made an impact on this team already from last year. And I'm really excited to see what he does here during his first trade deadline as the Leafs GM. I think it's going to be a fun one to watch. And I know he's going to make some great moves here in, in tree, we believe, as I keep saying here on channel. Love this guy as the GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I think he's just going to do wonders for this hockey. Uh, Hockey club, but like I said, let me know your thoughts on everything we talked about here in the video down to, in the comment section below. We're gonna get in everybody's favorite topic here, which is comment of the day. And the comment of the day today goes to Jay Mondo. Shout out to you, Jay Mondo. See you all the time down there in the comment section. Really appreciate your support here on the channel. He says, great show again, boys. Keep up the great work. And uh, shout out to you, Jay Mondo. Really appreciate you sticking around here on the channel and showing your support. We really appreciate it. Really appreciate seeing all your guys' support down there in the comment section. And like I said, if you want a chance to be featured on the next comment of the day, let us know your thoughts uh, on this uh, video, on this trade, on the Pedersen extension. Let us know down below. Uh, really appreciate Appreciate hearing from you guys down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure down below, hit that like button. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button as well. We're on the road for 3,000 subscribers. Like I said, we're so getting so close. So if you're not subscribed already, get the boys one sub closer to their goal of 3,000. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, if you enjoyed the NHL, make sure to check out this video we did yesterday on a potential match. Dumba trade to Toronto. Make sure to go check that one out. But as always, I've been your host, KC. Keep your stick on the ice.